The festival calendar of classical Athens involved the staging of many festivals each year. Topic: <laughs> Athena The Panathenaea ancient Greek Panathenae, all Athenian festival was the most important festival for Athens and one of the grandest in the entire ancient Greek world except for slaves all inhabitants of the polis could take part in the festival this holiday of great antiquity is believed to have been the observance of Athena's birthday and honored the goddess as the city's patron divinity Athena Polias Athena of the city a procession assembled before dawn at the Dipylon Gate in the northern sector of the city. The procession, led by the Caniforos, made its way to the Areopagus and in front of the Temple of Athena Nike next to the Propylaea. Only Athenian citizens were allowed to pass through the Propylaea and enter the Acropolis. The procession passed the Parthenon and stopped at the Great Altar of Athena in front of the Erechtheum. Every four years a newly woven peplos was dedicated to Athena. Topic. Dionysus The Dionysia was a large religious festival in ancient Athens in honor of the god Dionysus, the central event of which was the performance of tragedies and, from 487 BCE, comedies. It was the second most important festival after the Panathenaea. The Dionysia actually comprised two related festivals, the rural Dionysia and the city Dionysia, which took place in different parts of the year. They were also an essential part of the Dionysian mysteries. The Linnea ancient Greek, Linnea was an annual festival with a dramatic competition but one of the lesser festivals of Athens and Ionia in ancient Greece. The Linnea took place in Athens in the month of Gamelion, roughly corresponding to January. The festival was in honor of Dionysus Linnaeus. Linnea probably comes from Linnae, another name for the Maenads, the female worshippers of Dionysus. The Anthisteria, one of the four Athenian festivals in honor of Dionysus, collectively the Dionysia, was held annually for three days, the 11th to 13th of the month of Anthisterion, the January-February full moon, it was preceded by the Linnea. At the center of this wine-drinking festival was the celebration of the maturing of the wine stored at the previous vintage, whose pithoi were now ceremoniously opened, and the beginning of spring. Athenians of the classical age were aware that the festival was of great antiquity. Walter Burkert points out that the mythic reflection of this is the Attic founder King Theseus' release of Ariadne to Dionysus, but this is no longer considered a dependable sign that the festival had been celebrated in the Minoan period. Since the festival was celebrated by Athens and all the Ionian cities, it is assumed that it must have preceded the Ionian migration of the late 11th or early 10th century BCE. Topic. Apollo and Artemis The Bodromia ancient Greek, Bodromia was an ancient Greek festival held at Athens on the 7th of Bodromian summer in the honor of Apollo Bodromios, the helper in distress. The festival had a military connotation, and thanks the god for his assistance to the Athenians during wars. It could also commemorate a specific intervention at the origin of the festival. The event in question, according to the ancient writers, could be the help brought to Theseus in his war against the Amazons, or the assistance provided to the king Erechtheus during his struggle against Eumolpus. During the event, sacrifices were also made to Artemis Agrotera. The Thergelia ancient Greek, Thergelia was one of the chief Athenian festivals in honor of the Delian Apollo and Artemis, held on their birthdays, the 6th and 7th of the month Thergelion about 24 and the 25th of May. Essentially an agricultural festival, the Thergelia included a purifying and expiatory ceremony. While the people offered the first fruits of the earth to the god in token of thankfulness, it was at the same time necessary to propitiate him, lest he might ruin the harvest by excessive heat, possibly accompanied by pestilence. The purificatory preceded the thanksgiving service. 
On the sixth a sheep was sacrificed to Demeter Chloe on the Acropolis, and perhaps a swine to the fates, but the most important ritual was the following, two men, the ugliest that could be found the pharmacoi, were chosen to die, one for the men, the other according to some, a woman for the women. On the day of the sacrifice they were led round with strings of figs on their necks, and whipped on the genitals with rods of fig wood and squills. When they reached the place of sacrifice on the shore, they were stoned to death, their bodies burnt, and the ashes thrown into the sea, or over the land, to act as a fertilizing influence. Topic. Aphrodite and Adonis The Adonia, Adonia or Adonic feasts, were ancient feasts instituted in honor of Aphrodite and Adonis, and observed with great solemnity among the Greeks, Egyptians, etc. It lasted two days, and was celebrated by women exclusively. On the first day, they brought into the streets statues of Adonis, which were laid out as corpses, and they observed all the rites customary at funerals, beating themselves and uttering lamentations, in imitation of the cries of Venus for the death of her paramour. The second day was spent in merriment and feasting, because Adonis was allowed to return to life, and spend half of the year with Aphrodite. Topic. Demeter and Persephone The Thesmophoria was a festival held in Greek cities, in honor of the goddesses Demeter and her daughter Persephone. The name derives from the Smoe, or laws by which men must work the land. The Thesmophoria were the most widespread festivals and the main expression of the cult of Demeter, aside from the Eleusinian mysteries. The Thesmophoria commemorated the third of the year when Demeter abstained from her role of goddess of the harvest and growth, spending the harsh summer months of Greece, when vegetation dies and lacks rain, in mourning for her daughter who was in the realm of the underworld. Their distinctive feature was the sacrifice of pigs, the festival of the Scyra or Scyrophoria in the calendar of ancient Athens, closely associated with the Thesmophoria, marked the dissolution of the old year in May, June. At Athens, the last month of the year was Scyrophorion, after the festival. Its most prominent feature was the procession that led out of Athens to a place called Skyrn near Eleusis, in which the priestess of Athena and the priest of Poseidon took part, under a ceremonial canopy called the Skyrn, which was held up by the Aetiobutidae. Their joint temple on the Acropolis was the Erechtheum, where Poseidon embodied as Erechtheus remained a numinous presence. Topic. Hermes The Hermaea ancient Greek, Ermaia were ancient Greek festivals held annually in honor of Hermes, notably at Phineos at the foot of Mount Silene in Arcadia. Usually the Hermaea honored Hermes as patron of sport and gymnastics, often in conjunction with Heracles. They included athletic contests of various kinds and were normally held in gymnasia and palaestrae. The Athenian Hermaea were an occasion for relatively unrestrained and rowdy competitions for the Ephebes, and Solon tried to prohibit adults from attending. In the Cretan city of Sidonia, the festival had a more Saturnalian character, as the social order was inverted and masters waited on their slaves. Topic. Heracles. The Heracleia were ancient festivals honoring the divine hero Heracles. The ancient Athenians celebrated the festival, which commemorated the death of Heracles, on the second day of the month of Metagenian, which would fall in late July or early August, at the Kynosarges, Kynosarges Gymnasium at the Demos Diomea outside the walls of Athens, in a sanctuary dedicated to Heracles. His priests were drawn from the list of boys who were not full Athenian citizens. No thoi. Topic. Citizenship festivals The Apatoria, Greek, Apatoria were ancient Greek festivals held annually by all the Ionian towns, except Ephesus and Colophon. 
At Athens the Apatoria took place on the 11th, 12th and 13th days of the month Pionepsion mid-October to mid-November, on which occasion the various fratries, or clans, of Attica met to discuss their affairs. Topic. Family festivals The Amphidromia was a ceremonial feast celebrated on the fifth or seventh day after the birth of a child. It was a family festival of the Athenians, at which the newly born child was introduced into the family, and children of poorer families received its name. Children of wealthier families held a naming ceremony on the tenth day called Decate. This ceremony, unlike the Amphidromia, was open to the public by invitation. No particular day was fixed for this solemnity, but it did not take place very soon after the birth of the child, for it was believed that most children died before the seventh day, and the solemnity was therefore generally deferred till after that period, that there might be at least some probability of the child remaining alive. Topic. See also Diasia Haloa Festival Pandia Festival <laughs>